Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. All praises due to Allah. We praise Him, we thank Him, and we are so grateful to Him for everything He's given us. And we send peace and blessings on our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Welcome to the secrets of the heart. In this show we are trying to uncover the secrets of the world of the heart. So hopefully we will be able to cultivate our hearts, understand the important position that they occupy and the wonderful role they play in our lives. Because living this life unaware of the reality of the heart is like being dead. Is like living at the same level of animals without realizing the higher form of life, the higher level of happiness and real tranquility in this world and in the next. We spoke previously about two types of diseases of the heart. These diseases are very harmful to the heart. One of them is light, one of them is at a superficial level. And the second one is very serious. The superficial one, everyone feels the pain of it. This is why people hasten to treat it. But the problem, if they treat it the wrong way, the disease will get worse. That's an important thing that we have to learn. For example, someone, someone's right is taken away. The right way, to, he feels sad, he feels frustrated. The right way to treat this disease, this is a light disease of the heart, because feelings are in the heart. The right way to deal with this illness is to get him his right back with justice. But if he transgresses against that person and takes more rights than he really deserves, his illness will intensify. What will happen, his heart will be affected and he will become a more aggressive person himself and then he will find it easy to take the rights of other people. So he has caused his heart an illness on the other side. A person is sad for a certain reason. How do we make him happy? With, we bring him something that is good, something that is happy, a happy news, a happy event that really makes him happy. But some, pe some people treat the sadness that they have by a wrong type of happiness. Because this happiness is based on oppressing other people or causing them damage. For example, some people find happiness in torturing others. Why? That's an illness of the heart. Because they have tried to treat the sadness, the frustration they have with a certain treatment, but they exceeded the limit. So they went into confiscating other people's right or oppressing others. So what happened? They caused themselves a more serious illness. This is still easy to manipulate and to treat. The more serious illness, we said, are the illnesses that pertain to the religion. Illnesses about the desires, overwhelming desires, the heart being taken, being captivated by a sin, by a desire, being overwhelmed by a certain passion to something that is forbidden. All the heart being so much taken by an innovation, by a bid'ah, so that the person becomes, becomes consumed with that innovation, so he cannot free himself from it. So these, this, is, this type of illness, we said, is very, very harmful, it's very destructive, and the most important aspect of it, and the most serious, is that the person who suffer, suffers from it does not really realize that he has a serious illness. Because his own involvement in these wrong practices will make him numb. His heart will become numb. It will not feel the pain that the disease is causing him. We give the example of a person of a heavy smoker. The more he smokes, the more he will need of smoking. The same you know, applies to drinking. A person who is so much inclined to drinking, he will need to drink more every time. Because once he's awake, when, once he's you know, conscious again, and he's not under the impact or the effect of, he's, uh, the effect of drinking or of alcohol, he wakes up, he realize he cannot face the reality, so he still needs to drink more. That's a serious issue. The same applies to drug addicts. So this is the problem. They still, they need, the, all, such people always search to cause themselves more, numb, more numbness so that they do not 
suffer or they do not really feel the pain of that or the pain the disease is causing them the same applies to people of innovation and the people of sin the people of sin they start with a small sin and they keep adding to that because a sin will breed another sin a person cannot you know do a sin then dwell on that and stay on that stage no he either repents or he goes to more extremes in terms of sinning that's the seriousness of this illness uh, so the person starts with a small sin for example looking at women staring at women then the person this staring will take the heart the heart will follow the sight the heart will become attached to that woman to a certain woman a certain person then it develops into a passion an overwhelming passion and then the heart falls captive then it leads to other sins such as uh, adultery fornication and even worse than that and we know that a sin always leads to a greater sin and why because the person cannot stop because once you fall in the sin it will harm your heart and once you're done with it you will feel the pain of that you'll feel the pain of it and once you feel the pain you want to run away from it but you don't choose the right treatment the right remedy which is the Quran of Allah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to us that's the sunnah of the Prophet and that's repenting of the three measures that we mentioned previously get rid of the harmful things make repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and move on to righteousness but the person is not so much inclined to that the only option he has when he's suffering from the pains of this the pains that the sin has brought upon him the only way to escape that pain is to do more sin keep himself busy preoccupy himself with more sin and the situation will worsen will worsen will worsen and how many people you know how many people's lives could be summarized in this uh, small statement or this small